Hello, Patrick Walchuk here with our regular monthly update on the Ottawa residential investment market uh, to the end of November of 2021. We'll be comparing it to the first 11 months of last year. <clears throat> so looking as we always do at the smaller buildings that have sold year to date, and that is the buildings with two to four units in them. There's been 154 of these buildings trade hands so far this year, and that's an increase of 4% over uh, year to date last year. The average price is one million forty nine thousand and that's a price increase of seventeen percent. In terms of how long it's taking to sell, they're selling in an identical amount of time, which is 52 days compared to 52 last year. And the list to sell price ratio, how much owners are getting for their buildings, is 98% of their list price compared to 100% of their list price last year. Moving on to the larger buildings, and those are uh, what are in our commercial sector, and that's a building with anything with five or more units in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. We've had 23 of these buildings sell this year compared to 30 last year, so that's a decline of 23%. The average price is, call it 2.8 million, compared to about 1.8 million last year. Now, what's skewing the numbers is that we had one very, very high-end building sell, and when you have a base of only 23 units, that very high building has skewed the numbers, so <clears throat> just presenting it, what, what it is with that caveat. And in terms of of, um, <clears throat> how long it's taking to sell. These buildings are selling slightly faster in 75 days compared to 79 last year. And <clears throat> owners are getting 99% of their list price compared to 98% of their list price. If you enjoyed getting these movies, uh, click on the subscribe button. We'll send them to you every month. Thank you.